My name's Joe Connell, uh, I'm a lecturer in music in Cardiff University and I've been learning Welsh with Dusky Cymraeg Cardiff since uh, 2021. The thing I like the most about learning Welsh is being able to make connections with people who are Welsh speakers, I think. Um, yeah, it, it, there's just that something else then that you have. I mean, I, I had people that already knew who spoke Welsh uh, and were well, you know, Welsh speakers as their first language. And of course, we kind of had that, those initial connections as in, you know, speaking in English. But then once we started learning Welsh, it was just something else for us to kind of talk about. I could practice Welsh with them. And I think that I could actually learn more about the culture of Wales and particularly the popular culture of Wales, which is something that really interests me. Um, so I, th I think that's, that's it really, that, that kind of, it's not just about learning a language, it's also about learning about the place that I live, or that I've lived in for 20 years, and, um, and yeah, getting to know more about it from a, from a different perspective as well. I use my Welsh a lot in work. Uh, I have colleagues who are, close colleagues in School of Music who are uh, Welsh speakers. So we try and have conversations in Gymraeg in Welsh. Uh, Whenever I'm writing an email to them or a Teams message or whatever it might be, I'm writing that in Welsh as a, as a kind of means to practice it. Um, I'm also involved in a project in the university as well called uh, Project uh, Puta Hitanga, which looks at uh, musicians who are using the Welsh language uh, here in Wales and then also musicians in Aotearoa, New Zealand, who are using Te Reo Maori and the kind of points of connection between those. So I use, I use my Welsh a lot in, in that as well. Um, also speaking to other parents from my kids' school and also trying to talk to my kids in Welsh, uh, though sometimes they're not as happy about that as I am, uh, but I do my best. Um, the advice I would give to somebody who's starting their journey learning Welsh would be to try and use it as much as possible, whether that's um, you know, speaking, uh, listening, you know, watching Espedore, listening to Radio Cymru, um, reading as well. There's lots of opportunities to read the language, like in print, but also online as well. And as well, you know, when you're starting your Welsh learning journey, you know, if you're learning with Dusky Cymraeg, you know, you have a teacher, your teacher is there to help you to understand. There's no such thing as a silly question when it comes to learning something. You know, you, you just ask if you don't understand something, uh, what, how something works, why it is that way. You know, your teacher's there to help you to explain that. And if you need to go slower, they will go slower for you. They will, you know, suggest things that you can do. So I think that communication is really important, just trying to, trying to get as much experience of the language as you can.